Hello everyone in this Open Banking tutorial series. In this chapter, we're going to talk about the role of the Open Banking directory, how to use the Fortrock directory sandbox, and how to register your application in it. A directory plays a central piece in the Open Banking ecosystem. Even if the APIs are open, the ecosystem is regulated. In order to consume real banking APIs in the UK, you need to have the approval of the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority. They will check, for example, that you have the right security in place to consume Alice data or do any kind of payment. We will not cover the details of how to get regulated, as for this tutorial, we will actually consume a sandbox environment. Therefore, you don't need to be regulated to follow this tutorial. To consume the banking APIs, you need to be part of the Open Banking Secure Trust. The Open Banking Directory is the identity that plays the role of authority and controls the Secure Trust. For the sandbox environment, there is a directory hosted by Fordrock. The nice thing about it is that it's completely open and doesn't have any FCA requirements. Fordrock has simulated the directory to show us a full picture of the Open Banking ecosystem. With no further ado, let's see how we can register our app to the Fortrock directory. You first go to the Open Banking directory. Then you register. You can create an account if you don't have one. It's free. So we're going to create one for organization Open Banking for Dev. Now you can log in. So you successfully registered to the directory and you're no part of the Secure Trust. You can see that you have an organization and not yet any software statements. So what you can do is actually editing your organization. So there is not much to say there except your company name and a, and a short description. Now you can create applications, also called software statements. For this tutorial, we only need one application that we're going to call Awesome TPP. This is what is going to be presented at the consent page. You can also put a description just to remind you what was about this application. For the redirect URI, so the callback made by the bank to our application, we're going to use Google. You will see why in this tutorial it's acceptable to use Google. You can also set up a logo, which is useful because it will be presented at the consent page. One of the role of the directory is to publish your public keys to the other participants. For the sandbox directory, the Fortrock one is offering the ability to download the key directly. In the real life, you will upload a CSR. What we're going to do now is download our transport key, which will be used to authenticate ourselves when we do a REST call. Another role of the directory is to issue a software statement assertion to all the participants. You can do it via the UI or the REST API. In this tutorial, you manage to register to the Fortrock Open Banking Directory and you know part of the Secular Trust for the Sandbox. You created a software statement, completed the essential information in it, and you also downloaded the transport key, which will be essential for the rest of the tutorial. If you like the video, don't forget to put a like and also subscribe to the channel. See you to the next tutorial.